guys, it's Car Guy 11. I have my 2016 C7 Corvette Stingray Z51 behind me. And if you can believe it, it's reaching seven years old here in August of 22. And unbelievably, I can't believe I've owned it this long. And I've had the channel this long, actually, because I've really started the YouTube channel when I got this car. It was my best video ever, this delivery of this vehicle. So go and check that out if you want. And uh, oh geez, comment below if you remember when I purchased this vehicle. But I did take this car on a awesome road trip, 1200 mile road trip this summer through the mountains of Virginia and there was somewhere, if you saw that video, I posted it in July. Um, definitely need some updates to this car. Also this August, I have to get my Pennsylvania state inspection, which checks all the tires, brakes, um, emissions, all that stuff. So let's go see what it needs and what I'm getting to replace them. So first off, we'll start with the brakes. And I showed this at the end of my Back of the Dragon trip video, if you wanna check that out. But yeah, the rotors, the front rotors here have the slots in it, as you can see. Well, maybe you can't because they basically wore the slots flat. Um, yeah, uh, the bottom here is supposed to be a slot. Uh, you can see the top one, but yeah, it is so strange. Now I am using the Power Stop Track Day pads. Power Stop did say they're okay to use on the street, but don't necessarily recommend them for the street and i guess i can see why because they are aggressive to the rotors so i am going to replace the pads as well because they're they're pretty well worn anyway and what my thoughts are i am actually going to go back to the oem brembo pads i didn't have them on the car that long so they're pretty much brand new and i want to test them out again and and see how they are for aggressive driving for track driving and for every day i know the dust is going to be bad but the dust was bad with the track day pads as well so i think that's what i'm going to do at this point and also i ordered brand new gm slotted rotors because you got to match the rears <laughs> i didn't want to have different slots front and rear or plain front and slotted rear so i ended up just ordering the oem rotors as well the rear rotors are okay I am just going to change out the pads in the rear to match the front. So I'll go back to the OEM pads in the rear as well. But as you can see, the slots in the rear are fine. Now, as far as the tires go, unfortunately, I'm going to need them as well. And I really wasn't expecting it, but I did notice that the insides edges on all four tires are worn pretty thin and actually to the cords in the left rear in certain spots the cords are showing so that's not going to pass inspection although there's some tread remaining here um, the edges are not going to pass so unfortunately i need new tires now these i replaced at 16,000 miles on the car with the michelin pilot sport 4s's and they actually don't even well they make them but i guess they're back ordered i can't find any replacement for s's i am going back to the oem michelin pilot super sport run flats if you can believe that but to be honest they were higher performing tires than these uh according to my track times uh they're not as good in the wet and the ride will likely suffer with them again but uh, I'm okay with that and they have them in stock and I am going to get those on here shortly. I am looking forward to see the performance improvement, maybe take it back on a track, see if I can get my actual track time I got with the original Super Sports. I was never able to match it with these 4S's. Uh, I have about 20, 21,000 miles on these tires and they lasted four years, <laughs> a cross country trip and everything. And I guess I should talk about the alignment. I do have a more aggressive alignment than stock. So that's probably cause of the wear on the insides. Uh, the outsides look pretty good with a lot of track miles on this autocross and such. So I'm gonna keep the alignment as is, like it's a little bit more aggressive than stock, but not exactly a track alignment. So I'm gonna keep that. They're all pretty even as well. 
and we'll see how the OEM Super Sports go. So basically, it's funny, but I'm going back to stock for pretty much everything, tires, brakes, rotors, and we'll see how they do. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you this quick little update. Stay tuned and subscribe. I will be posting a how-to video on installing the new rotors because I've done videos on replacing the brake pads, but not the front rotor. So I'll be making a video on that. If you're interested, please subscribe. Oh, let me know in the comments below if you've gone away from stock, what pads are you using, what tires, and what do you like better? I know the, the OEMs are gonna dust, but like I said, my track pads also dusted. And I could go back to the PowerStop Z26 pads, which is an option, but for now, I wanna take it back to stock and then see what happens. But guys, there's only one thing left to do since I'm getting new tires anyway. <laughs> But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.